Hey guys, welcome back to JR14. Here I am with another video for you guys. As you saw before, that was the unboxing of the new integrated engineering intake that I got. I want to give a shout out to Jay and also I want to give a shout out to Ben. You guys have been awesome. You guys have been great with the whole process of providing me the intake and me purchasing it and going back and forth and figuring out everything. I do appreciate you guys for that. And also guys, if you definitely want a product, integrated engineering is the way to go. But today we're going to do the, uh, tonight we're actually going to do the, uh, the DIY, the uh, do-it-yourself video for the integrated intake. And um, uh, there's a lot of things wrong here. We have a pretty car with no parts apart. So let's get that done, shall we? Okay, we are back. That didn't take long, did it? Everything's out of the car. Old airbox, everything else is all out of the car. Batteries disconnected. Everything is out of the car, ready to do the install. So, definitely let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do, this is the old coolant line right here. So we're gonna remove it both at this end and at this end right here. So the way we have to do that, um, IE actually provides us two vacuum clamp seals. So as soon as you pull this out, there's gonna be a little bit of coolant that's gonna leak. You just slide the things on there as far as the, um, the stoppers on each side. And then what you would do is you would do one side at a time and then they have clamps that come with it so that you can use. So let's do that first. Also, when you're moving this, it's also good to lay a rag down. This way, no extra coolant spills all on top of the transmission or all over, all over the charge pipe and any other components. So, yeah, let's do it. Well, I did that, and as you can see, I got coolant everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. Oh my God! It just, it just, it just came out. All right, so I got one down. I got another one to go. I got to pull this paper up because there's like coolant all in here and it's that's actually a lot. I didn't think so much was going to come out. All right. After almost creating a massacre here, I managed to get both off. I'm sure all the coolant did not leak. I have both ends with the vacuum here and oh, we should be okay. Now I got to put the new one on. <laughs> this is going to be fun. And pretty much better everything. Uh, I want to see if I can use the old clamps on this. It looks like a little, it'll be a little bit easier that way. Um, and hopefully we will be able to do that because these new clamps I'm really not sure about. So let's get, let's look at this. Okay, so we did get the hose on. Uh, they use like some special clamps that you actually have to, you know, actually get like a nose, like uh, what are they called? nose needle pin pliers I think that's what they're called uh, but yeah essentially got those in they're nice and snugged they're not going anywhere coolant did leak out so just be aware of that make sure that you have like a rag or something like that because it definitely it got everywhere I've just finished wiping it down and my hands smell like coolant now but let's get back with the install all right so the next part we have to do this is the bracket to hold the heat shield up and we have these rubber grommets that go in each of these holes here and here. So we're going to do that now. All right. So after it's all said and done, that's what it's supposed to look like. Uh, what I used for these, these are a little rough to do, to put in. So what I did was I put a little bit, like a little bit of soap at the end of like these pieces right here. And I just pushed them down and they went, went pretty easily. But if you try to do it the other way then. If you try to do it with no light type of lubricant at all, it's definitely gonna be uh it's definitely gonna be difficult to get in. But it's in, so the next step. We'll be bolting this piece to with these nuts and bolts here that are included with the kit. And they'll be going in this portion of the box, which is right below here. You're gonna see in the box there's two holes, the heat shield, there's two holes here and here. That's where these are going to bolt up to, and then you're able to push it down where the battery tray is in the car. So at the end of the day, it's bolted up like this, essentially, like that. Alright, so now we're going to push this box in between this, this, push these two grommets basically with the heat shield here and here. So we're gonna do that now. And they should line up pretty evenly. If, not, if, if I did this right, hopefully I did. Oh. 
right, that's one. And the bottom one. Perfect. So as you can see, the coolant now, the coolant line now runs underneath this rather than the old one that ran on top of it. So now it runs underneath it and it comes out over here, which is pretty cool now. So this should be more secure, especially when everything is in place. So let's get everything in. Let's put everything else together. Basically the next step, we take the turbo pipe that's gonna go here and the silicone flex pipe, which goes there. We push this in. As we're doing now, once you get it into a certain point and you bring this guy here and you tighten that down and you put another one here because it's going to go in here like this. So we're definitely going to get this done and let's get that part. All right. So when you put the, this is the vacuum hose here that goes underneath the silicone piece. Uh, the, thank God that this is all flexible because usually I know on the K&N on the K&N filters they uh, it sometimes tends to break because you're just, you're trying to push it in and this is not a flexible plastic. But the the whole factor of this is is that this is all silicone, so it's able to flex a little bit. So just make sure that's nice and snug and you should be all set. Okay. I'll get this put in here and such. So that's what the bed. This guy goes here. Now I'm basically just uh, taking this bit here and sliding it over the, the vortex piece. A little more difficult than it. Oh, there we go. Got it. All right. Just bring that up. Just sit gently flush against that. And okay. Just bring this. Okay. And then we're just gonna. We're not gonna tighten this down yet. Just gonna get everything lined up first, so that it's really easy to do. Now we're gonna put this pipe in here, and this will all line up perfectly to fit inside. So, and I've already put, there's also another silicone piece that you have to put here. I've already put that in already, so that's fine. So we just need to put this in here. And it would have been wise if I put this in first. Make sure you put your, your clamps in first. Okay, all set. And tilt them in a way when you, before you tighten them, obviously. Make sure you put them in a way where you're able to. Uh... Oh, God. Okay, cool, got it. All right, as you can see, the silicone part is attached to the, to the uh, heat shield. And it goes all the way back here to the turbo inlet. Now the turbo inlet's a little difficult because you have to align it and you have to like loosen it and tighten it again to, to play with it to see how it works out perfectly. But that's how it looks. Now I basically just tighten everything down before I put on the filter. Okay. So as you can see now, the silicone is in, the silicone piece is in, the vacuum line is in on the bottom here. I think, yeah, it is. <laughs> I had to make sure. Cooling lines are nice and snug underneath this area right here. Uh, what else? 
this is secure here this is nice and tight all this is nice and tight now the last thing that we need to do is put the filter on nice and easy easy and secure and then we just need to tighten it down the screwdriver and we should be all set really nice and tight and snug yeah that's not going anywhere and that's it and that is the intake A little temporary fix for now. I forgot to order the intake with the secondary breather hose. So I'm gonna borrow the one from my old intake, aftermarket intake, and put it on here for now. 